The bookmark feature in Word is kind of like having a book and marking your place in the book so you can go back to it to pick up where you last left off and continue reading from that point on. But with the bookmark in Word, you can not only mark it in one place, but many places, each with their own keyword, so you know where you're jumping to in the document here. So for example, let me go ahead and scroll down to page 2. And when I'm talking about essential oils with somebody, let's say the best introduction to essential oils is about peppermint in my experience with it. So I want to bookmark my place here with the keyword peppermint. And to bookmark, I can either click next to the word, or I can go ahead and select the word. And there's a couple ways you can go about inserting a bookmark. One way is, well, with it selected, come up here and click on the Insert tab, go to the Links group, and it's right there, Bookmark. Click on it, it opens it up, or, let me go ahead and close out, the shortcut keys are Control, Shift, F5, opens up the same window. And then you just need to type in a name for your bookmark, something that makes sense. So when we're looking for a place to go to, well, in this case, pretty simplistic, it's Peppermint. Now, it says Add, but when I hit the space bar, and I type in something else, it disappears. It doesn't like spaces. So if you want a space, well, go ahead and use the underscore key and then type in another word. So it's got the appearance of having a space without actually being a space, something that's acceptable. Then we can go ahead and click Add and it's added. How do you know? Well, let's go ahead and click off and do Control Home. And to go to the bookmark, you can do it one of a couple of ways. Either come up here on the Insert tab to the Links group and click on Bookmark or do Control shift f 5 because not only can you add it, but it has a list of all those that you've added. And it's right here, Peppermint Oil, with it selected. Go ahead and click on Go To. Okay, looks like it's ghosting. It's okay when we close, it'll refresh. Cool, there it is. Took me right to it. And it's got it highlighted because I have the entire word as a bookmark. And if I just had it over to the right-hand side, well, then it would just take it right there. So, for example, if I scroll up here and I click next to Cinnamon, let's go ahead and do Control-Shift-F5. And we need to, well, we don't want to use the same text. We'll delete that and type in Cinnamon. And then hit Enter on the keyboard to add it. So if I go ahead and scroll down or anywhere to another part of the document, and I'm like, hmm, I'd like to go to Cinnamon. Well, you can go ahead and click on the bookmark in the links group or control shift F5 or hit the F5 key on the keyboard. It takes you to the go to tab in the find and replace window. You can select bookmark. Hey, there you go. It knew exactly I wanted to go to cinnamon. Well, you can click on the drop down arrow and choose peppermint oil, but it is sorted alphabetically, so it just happens to be cinnamon. Click go to, takes me right to it, close out, and it's got it right on the bookmark. Well, where I inserted it, which is to the right of the word cinnamon. Now, if you want to see these bookmarks, you can't turn on the show hide codes because it won't show them. Like if I come up here, click on the home tab, come to the paragraph group and turn on show codes, Zippo. But what you can do, let me go ahead and turn them off, is go backstage to file, down to options, to advanced, and scroll down to show document content, which is show bookmarks. Check it, click okie dokie, and let me go ahead and click over to the right. And you see that big, huge, fat eye beam? That's a bookmark. Let's scroll down to look at peppermint, and you'll notice that it's not an eye beam, but we got two square brackets, meaning that everything between the two is a bookmark. Now, can you delete a bookmark while deleting anything in front or behind the bookmark, or including the whole word? Well, we can do it with the word. Let's click after the bookmark and hit the backspace key, and delete, 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 delete. We delete the word. And eventually, it deletes both bookmarks. So yes, you can do that. Let's go ahead and hit undo, or scroll up here to where it is next to N and Cinnamon. Go ahead and hit the backspace key, and it deletes the letters until we get to the end. And it keeps deleting, but the bookmark never disappears. It's still there. So if I go ahead and click off somewhere else, hit the F5 key on the keyboard, want to go to Cinnamon, click Go To, close out. It takes me right to the cinnamon bookmark, even though I deleted everything behind the bookmark. Well, let's go ahead and hit undo. Several times. So what we can do is, as opposed to hitting the backspace or deleting the front space, backspace, front space, or hitting the delete key, you just can't get rid of that darn bookmark. Well, the only way to do it is to go ahead and delete it from the bookmarks window. So let's go ahead and hit undo here. as opposed to, well, with brackets around it as the bookmark, you can delete that and it'll collapse. 
So go ahead and do Control Shift F5. And there's Cinnamon. Go ahead and delete it and close out, and it's gone. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.